Hey guys, this is AJ Unlimited here to bring you another video. So this is going to be my Spider-Man No Way Home uh, spoiler free uh, video review. Um, I just saw it last night, opening night, and uh, it was very interesting. It was, it was, it was quite the adventure, 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 uh, adventure. So to start off, uh, the movie actually picked up right where... Am I looking in the right camera here? I don't know. iPhones com are confusing. It opened up, uh, picked up right where uh, Spider-Man Far From Home left off with uh, Mysterio slash uh, Beck uh, supposedly revealing, you know, like uh, Peter Parker's identity and, and framing him for his murder, which obviously was not real. He, uh, you know, did some stuff with the footage that the drones had captured and well, of course next thing you know spider-man is in this like just serious dilemma where the fbi is after him and they're trying to you know put him behind bars essentially and they uh they interrogate him and uh and, you know do all that do all that stuff they uh, interrogate not only him, but Aunt May as well as Ned and MJ, and I think maybe Happy, I don't remember. It was pretty brief and quick how they did that, and I'm kind of happy about that because for some reason in the trailer, and I don't know if it's just me, but it felt like that was going to be like a much bigger part of the movie, and it kind of wasn't. They kind of like more or less glossed over that whole thing. And, uh, of course, Doctor Strange uh, is there, and Peter Parker goes to him for help. The way the trailer made it look was as if Doctor Strange... They made Doctor Strange look, like, rather clueless and, like, just, like, irresponsible. And in the movie, it made a lot more sense, um, especially with Wong and, uh, you know, and then the friends... Uh, it all sort of uh, clicked a lot better in the movie, and I was happy about that. Because in the trailer, I thought, I was like, why on earth would Doctor Strange just, like, just that easily agree to fix Peter Parker's, you know, serious mistake that he made? But in the movie, they made it make more sense, and it, 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 it flowed. Needless to say, there were a few familiar faces in the movie. Obviously, I'm not going to mention any names or anything. The way they pull it off is very clever and unexpected. And to see all these different villains come from different universes and different movies and all kind of like, you know, and then you have Spider-Man and his friends uh, there to watch it all play out and then of course Doctor Strange you know he's always like sort of in the background of the movie it's very just very different very clever and it's a very fun movie to watch it's cool to see all these villains come back and then Tom Holland's Spider-Man he has to like deal with all of this it's like wait who are you who are you who are you who are you well, I'm Peter Parker you're not Peter Parker you know it's it's cool to see like how they all scramble and try to figure out what the hell's going on and you know, and of course, like, all these villains are, are so, so they're supposed to be dead, right? Green Goblin, Doc Ock, they always saw them die. And so they kind of explain how that uh, is resolved, which is kind of, to me, like, okay, you know. I mean, I'm not, I'm no cinema sins, so I'm not going to be all nitpicky and dissect it. Um, but for, for the type of movie that it was and the type of fans and audience members that they were targeting, it worked. They pulled it off, um, and that's all that matters, <laughs> And uh, it was it was just, like I said, a very fun movie to watch. It was very refreshing. Doctor Strange, again, being in the background for all of it, sort of like casting his spells and trying to trying to patch things up like bandages that like trying I guess trying to cover up the tracks of Peter Parker, um, who uh, is kind of making he's kind of making a mess, like leaving a mess. And Doctor Strange is there to try to clean it up a bit, but he keeps on doing stuff and uh, I mean, you know how Tom Holland, Tom Holland, Spider-Man is supposed to be a teenager or maybe like a young adult. Um, and he's trying to like fix things on his own and he doesn't listen to the adults in the movie. He just kind of does his own thing and things kind of get, things get worse before they get better. And it's very, it's, it's cool to see, uh, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange to, like, interact and sort of have their little, their, you know, they, they, they get in a little bit of a jumble, and that's pretty cool, that's really cool to watch, because we haven't really seen anything like that before without Tony Stark being in the picture or any of that, so it's just, like, just to see Peter Parker, young Peter Parker, uh, 
interacting with Doctor Strange, um, and then just like the, the MJ and uh, Ned, who are obviously the supporting characters. They are, you know, it's just like it's it's just it's high school. It's like these high school kids are dealing with all of this grown up like Avenger type like problems, and there's nobody really there to help Peter except Doctor Strange. The ending is very very bittersweet, and. All I can really say about that is obviously Peter Parker makes kind of like a sacrifice and he makes a very mature decision. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to say much more. Uh, him and MJ have a very interesting dynamic in the movie as well as Ned. Ned actually plays a very, very unexpectedly surprising role in the movie. I'll say that much. Let's just say if it wasn't for Ned, the movie would would uh, be much more boring. That's all I can really say about it without giving too much away. On a scale of like one to 10, upon first viewing, obviously I've only seen it once, I'd probably give it like a nine out of 10. And the reason why I don't give it that extra, that extra point is because I believe that like, there was a little bit of lazy writing going on and you know, obviously you have to have all these actors that haven't been on screen in years. Um, and you have to, in a two and a half hour period, write this story about the multiverse and all these previous Spider-Man villains. You have to write a story for those guys and have all the actors come back and and then obviously you have Tom Holland who is like just he's just a kid and he's trying to figure all this out they make it work but uh it's kind of it feels a little bit rushed in my opinion and it felt a little bit like that you figured that out a little bit too easily you know kind of like how I feel about Avengers Endgame how they figured out time travel I was like you know it was like 20 minutes into the movie they got it down pat <laughs> Um, and in this movie is kind of like the same thing in a sense, uh, but it, it worked, it worked and I was satisfied with it. I, 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 you know, I was smiling ear to ear the whole movie. Uh, and I just, I walked out of that theater very happy. I, I, I told my friend that, uh, I can die happy now, but all in all, very good movie. I would definitely recommend it. Did it live up to like Avengers Endgame? Uh, status um, I'd have to see it again you know when it comes to this type of stuff I have to see I have to watch it at least twice maybe two or three times to really form a solid opinion on it plus I have to hear the opinions of others around me including the internet uh, this is just my like rather immediate raw uh, honest opinion on, on what I saw in the movie and I thought it was pretty damn good I thought it was like but again, I was smiling ear to ear the whole time. So that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, definitely worth the watch. I don't think you will be disappointed either. So that's all. That's all I have to say about that. So um, with that being said, though, my channel is actually on route to hit 1,000 subscribers in probably within the next couple months. So I have decided that I'm going to upload. I'm going to try to upload every week, uh, at least one video every week of something. Whether it's just something like this, me sitting down and talking to you, or it's like a Grand Theft Auto live stream, or a niece, we won't leave me alone video. I don't know, I can't make any promises. But, whatever, you guys don't care about that. They're just here to listen to my non-spoiler review. So, that's all. Uh, so, thank you guys once again very much for watching this. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know what to do. And as always, I will see you next time. Later, Gators.